and almost out of nowhere, a couple of hours goes by, and then this dude is just like, hey, y'all, we're going to go ahead and turn some worship music on and start worshiping the Lord. I'm like, bro, what? Worship who? Like, I'm like, man, see, this is why I can't fool with y'all church folks. Y'all Christians, y'all always want to worship and talk about Jesus. He's like, I'm trying to have some good food. I'm trying to have some good time. It was a couple girls up in there. I was, I was Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And we are Fun and Jesse. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, you know just sitting down and watching our videos. Really, really the MVP, man. And we also want to thank everybody out there who been subscribing to our channel. And if you're new to this channel, we are Funny and Jesse. We do a lot of reaction videos on this channel right here. Like we are like the gods of reaction <laughs> don't take it personally anyway so i mean we do a lot of reaction videos and just let us know on any type of reaction you want us to do any funny reaction the religion type of reaction uh what do you call music. it music poetry. you know yeah we love music poetry pranks. what yeah, any pranks you want us to do with you guys, let's laugh together. I mean, just let us know in the comment section below and we're going to do it for you. And now, on to the most important thing, guys. We have another channel which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We decided to, you know, uh, create another channel so that you guys can see our daily lives or you can see what we normally up to sometimes. And that channel is, will feature most of our things that we normally do every day. For example, if you want to go out shopping, if you want to go out probably... Uh, maybe do some Q&A, maybe go show you guys some streets in, in Cyprus or, or probably in, in, in any other city out there, just, you know. Or you going to Africa? Yeah, even, yeah. Maybe Africa, Kenya, Zambia, you know. I'm from Kenya, she's from Zambia. We're going to show you all the things that you want us to show you guys, we're going to show it to you through that channel over there. So what I want you guys to do, what we want you guys to do is that just go and subscribe to that channel. It's called Funny and Jesse 2.0. I think we're gonna put it on the pin below so that you can be able to subscribe to the channel and feel free to just let us know what you want us to do on that channel over there. If you want us to do a QA, well and good. Thank you so much. And right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. And uh, today, what, what are we gonna do? We're going to be reacting to why I converted from Islam to Christianity. Exactly. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Yo, what's good, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Cyrus Speaks, and this is my testimony as to how I converted from Islam to Christianity. So I know it's crazy because a lot of people that follow me, you know, did not know that I used to be Muslim. Actually, many of y'all who've been friends with me for years even mm -hmm. did not know mm -hmm. that I converted to Christianity. So I thought it would be good if I made a video giving my testimony explaining how Jesus saved me from Islam and also why I have decided to continue in Christianity and in this faith. As a young boy in elementary school, I took it upon myself to start to learn and research as much as I could about other religions. I was very interested, very curious. Being absent of faith, I decided to start reading these different books and then reading these different books uh, from Judaism to atheism, Christianity, Islam, the list goes on and on and on. I ended up coming upon Islam. And to me, Islam made sense. It made sense to me because ultimately Islam teaches that you can get to heaven based off of your good works and good deeds. Islam says you have to do, whereas Christianity says Christ has done on our behalf. So to me, Islam made sense. Islam says you are not born into sin. It says you become a sinner. I was living with my, my mother and my stepfather. It caused so much friction in the household because they were Christians and I disagreed with Christianity. It you caused a lot of conflict. Mm -hmm. And I actually moved out to live with my eldest sister and her husband. And they were Muslims. So fast forward a few years later, I'm living with my sister and her husband. And I'm in school. And literally, it is the last day of school. This school was out. And I ended up getting, uh, I ended up getting into a fight. I actually got jumped. So after I got jumped, um, I went home to call some friends of mine. My older sister, she saw me call my homies, and she knew it was about to be some drama. So she's telling me, you ain't about to bring no drama to my house. I ain't about to have no hood dudes at my house. 
are trying to make stuff pop off, literally while we're arguing, a knock comes at the door. We open the door, and what do you know? It's this, this white Christian dude at the door. And, uh, and I say that because at the time, I was really dealing with racism as well. So my sister decides to invite him in. I don't know why. She's a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. We don't like Christians. Whatever. But she invites him in, nevertheless. So he's telling us how he and some of his church members have decided, since it is now the last day of school and now technically it's summer, that he and his staff would invite some of the youth in our neighborhood and close by neighborhoods over um, to his house. My sister pressured me to go because she said, you are not about to be getting into some drama. You need to go somewhere where there's some positivity happening. So I'm at this guy's house. And I'm looking around, it's like all these Christians. I had never been around this many young Christians before in my life, especially of different ethnicities, races, you know, just, you know, so on and so forth. And they chilling, we eating food, we chopping it up, we laughing. And almost out of nowhere, a couple of hours goes by. And then this dude is just like, hey, y'all, we're going to go ahead and turn some worship music on and start worshiping the Lord. I'm like, bro, what? Worship who? Like, I'm like, man, see, this is why I can't fool with y'all church folk. Y'all Christians, y'all always want to worship and talk about Jesus. He's like, I'm trying to have some good food. I'm trying to have some good time. It was a couple girls up in there. I was, I was checking them out. I was checking them out. So the crazy part about him saying we're going to start worshiping was that he turned on some music, and it was like some weird hippie music. I mean, it was contemporary Christian music with like an acoustic guitar, but I ain't never heard that. Only gospel music I had ever heard was like that gospel music. So I'm thinking like, what is this weird hippie, we love you Jesus, you know, just, you know, the weird voice and all. I'm like, man, what is this that's going on? What was really crazy to me though, was that all of the, the people in there, all of the, the kids and young adults literally began to worship Jesus intimately, personally, like they knew him personally. Like some were dancing, some were singing a song, some were down on their knees crying, uh, some were sitting down. Uh, like literally everyone was just worshiping and talking to Jesus privately, and I had never seen that before. So, you know, I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm trying to face towards Mecca because, you know, in Islam, you're supposed to face towards uh, Mecca uh, when you pray. Probably about 10 minutes went, went by, and the presence of God filled this man's living room. And I'm not usually a person that talks about like feeling type stuff or spiritual stuff in that way, but there's no other way to explain and describe it than the presence of God literally came to this man's living room and I experienced it and I felt it. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. I'm thinking like, no, nah, I'm tripping. They, they, they put something in the food, they don't spike the food. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's not it. Okay, maybe it's my adrenaline since I got jumped earlier. I'm like, maybe it's this weird hipster music that they have playing. So I'm trying to figure out what it is but I couldn't. So eventually I got up, left out of that man's living room, went in his guest restroom, closed the door, and he immediately started blaspheming and cursing the name of Jesus. Uh, it's not the son of Allah, but Allah does not have children. Uh, that Jesus is just a prophet, not even as great as the great prophet Muhammad. Like I'm saying all of these things that I have been uh, studied and, and raised up within Islam to believe. And about five minutes goes by, and I feel the presence of God feel this man's living room, like just feel this man's house. And I'm on the floor crying, weeping under the presence of God. And this man don't even know what's going on. I get up, I look in the, in the mirror, I'm wiping the tears, and I'm like, God, I'm not even a Christian, I'm a Muslim. I was like, I don't even believe your Bible is true, because Islam teaches that the Bible is only partially true. And the first time ever I heard God's voice and God spoke to me, he said, don't worry about changing. Don't worry about transforming. Read my word and allow my word and my love to transform you. After that, I didn't immediately just get saved and everything was, was rose petals. It was a huge tug of war between both the faiths uh, within my heart because I wanted to honor God, but I wanted to make sure that I was doing it the right way. Um, but those people lovingly walked with me and through them walking with me, through them showing me through the text and through the scriptures and through their love, I was able to realize that Jesus is the Son of God. He is God. He is more than just a prophet. Uh, so and that is the story as to how I got saved. Um, and it was a long process after that. I got to do a lot of missionary work. I got to travel a whole lot and I uh, preached to a lot of people, man. But aside from that, man, what is your testimony? Like, I share this both to bless you, but also to encourage you to share your testimony. The word says we overcome by the power of the blood and the word of our testimony. 
And it's not about how good you can tell your testimony. It's not about how interesting your testimony sounds or how powerful it how powerful your testimony sounds. It is about the power of the one who's giving you a testimony, who is Jesus. Uh, aside from that, let me know what my testimony, how it spoke to you, if it blessed you at all. And comment down below. Make sure y'all subscribe. You also turn on the bell notification so you can be notified of the next video that Diamond uh, and or I will be dropping for y'all. Y'all, we got some special treats coming up for y'all. So, man, we love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Wow. I like how... <laughs> His tray had humor and yeah. all of it. What do you think? It's interesting. I mean, it's my first time watching someone converting from Islam to Christianity. It's interesting. So what's your take on that? So, okay, since you say you've never seen this before, this is like your first time, you think it's worth it for him? I always it's say if you find peace in something, because he said he studied, well, I like the fact that he said he studied everything. Oh, yeah. So then he got, was he Christian first? His parents were Christian, so yeah, I guess he was then, Christian. Yes. Then elementary, he changed. He yes. went to his. Uh, was it elementary? Then he changed to Islam. Yeah. He couldn't. Anyway, it's just. He found peace in Christianity, I'm guessing. I mean. Yeah, what you're saying is good. You find peace in Christian. I mean, you can find peace in every in any religion, guys. It depends any, on what you're looking. For. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends on what you're looking. When for. he was younger, he found that this was working out, and when he grew up, he found that this was. Yeah, and I like the fact that how he started uh, uh, talking. Uh, anyway, guys, I just like the way he started the the. the the speech. I mean, he, he he started with Muslim and he said good things about Muslims, and then he went to Christianity and started saying that how no, he started giving out a story on how he converted from Islam to to Christianity, and it wasn't in a bad way. You get it? And it wasn't like in a in a in a way to to put down uh, Islam. You get it? That's what I was going to say after he finished talking. Yeah, it wasn't like he, he it was just like. He was saying Islam was a good religion, but I wanted maybe he wanted to find more peace in another religion, which which is fine. Everybody has a choice. Uh, but again, he went on and started saying something about the Bible is partially not 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 true. Or something. Partially true. Yeah, it's partially true. You get it. And then he he went on and saying by himself, it's not me. I didn't say that. So that means Islam agrees with Christianity to some extent. Yeah, to some extent. But again, he went on and said that, um, uh, what do you call this, like, they themselves as Islam, they hated Christians, they get it. It doesn't apply for everyone. Yeah, just it him doesn't, just him, yeah, just him alone, it, it doesn't, but, I mean, why why would you want to hate another religion, for what reason, it doesn't really uh, add up, anyway. No, but then I feel like he was just in the zone of telling his story. Yeah, it's probably. just the fact of, um, Like somebody perhaps, just comes in your door and all of a sudden is a Christian and, you know... You know what I'm saying is, maybe them as Muslims, then... You know how people say these people are following blindly? Yeah, they yes. Don't know the, they don't know the truth. Mm -hmm. So they dislike that fact, not that they hate the people. But do you think in this modern day that we live in, there are people who dislike... Oh, yeah, you get it. Like they look at Christians, like they don't know what they're doing. But anyway, uh, we still we still uh, um, praising or praying. People at the end of the day. Yeah, we're still the same people at the end of the day. We were created by this one God. So anyway, I like the fact that he talked about all those things with no bad intentions. Yeah. Get I it. really like how he said he said good things about this religion, went to the other religion, yeah. and said good good things. Others would bash other bash, religions yeah, for yeah. no for no reason. Exactly. It was mature of him. Yeah. At least he's saying there's good in this, there's good he's in this. Getting that, yeah. There's good in any religion out there, anyway, guys. And for me too, it's not the first time. I think this is maybe the second or third time seeing someone converting from Islam is. to Christianity. Yeah. Anyway guys, if you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, so give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what do you feel about this video over here. Wait, but then, so he converted at a time when he was about to cause problems, yes? Yeah. And like, Christianity is the only thing that stopped him. 
from going through with his plans to call his friends and go back and attack yes. people that attacked yes. him. But I'm sure Islam doesn't teach violence, does it? No, Islam is a religion of peace. It doesn't, even other religions are also a religion of peace. But I think it resonated with him when he came when, home. When, at the travel time. Yeah, at the, at the travel time, because probably something would have happened at that particular moment. But all of a sudden, somebody knocked on the door and came in and would get it. You understand? If you have any type of reactions, let us know in the comment section below. If you have any religious type of reactions, if you have any funny reactions, if you have any music reactions, let us know in the comment section. We do all type of reaction, guys. Don't hesitate to just let us know what you want us to do for you. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And peace out.